Leah's. In the shed. Me mum won't allow them in the house. Right. We'll go and see, shall we? Come on, son. That's a trouble of that sort. All fuss and bother. But we haven't got Dr. Hayes. Sorry about this, but it is rather serious. Yes, but there's ways of doing things, isn't there? Ah. These will have to come along with us. But they're mine. I've been collecting them a year. All the kids have got them. The nation needs scrap metal. But they're the second best collection in Garmouth. Ah, come on, Sergeant. Let the band keep them. What harm does it do? All such things are the property of the crown. Rubbish. What's the king want with a load of scrap? Nothing else? What's inside these hutches? No, Dad, please! He's never gonna tell me Robert's Dad, please! I think you'd better get up to bed, sir. I'm afraid we'll have to search a house. And the whole garden, if need be. You're going to your mother, son. I'm stopping here. I don't trust policies. And so help me, if you break out, I'll have the lawyers on you in the morning. Fine day, sir. Thanks, Aunt Major. Two full spoonfuls of sugar, sir. One at down the castle, Naffy. I don't wish to know that, Aunt Major. No, sir. Tell you what, though. If you managed to win that wretched machine gun, I'd be more than grateful. And so would I be, sir. This post could do with the real thing. Hope won't be home guards. We've got nothing to guard the home with. No word then, sir. Nothing. If any of my boys have got the damn thing, they're keeping awfully quiet about it. Cheer up, sir. Kids are cunning little beggars. Just ain't your recruits. Can't turn your back for a minute with them. But we'll help manoeuvre them yet, sir. And if we get that gun, I know just the place we can use it. But it wouldn't be our sound made in. We'd win it, sir. We'd win it. <laughs> in the garden. Dad was hot mad, but I didn't find anything. Nothing to find, was there? Wasn't there? Only 2,000 rounds of ammo. Well, a thousand and a half. Some had been fired out the second drum. I hid them in the rubber touch. I forgot about them when we heard it. <laughs> I went crackers when the bobby made a beeline for it. Did you not search her? No, my dad wouldn't let them. Bye. I don't like treating me dad. I don't usually. Do you want to come round to our house for tea? My mum asked. No, my cousin Gorn's coming round. He's on leave again. He brings his gun. My auntie Rose won't have it in the house. <laughs> I don't know what the blue of the side rings for anyway. There's been no bit of, bit of drizzle since we came in here. I said this is one meal that Hitler's not going to spoil, thank you very much. With Gordon, he has special... Sausages? You should have bought something bigger. It's We're going to have taken pot shots at the Jerry's. <laughs> you can shoot down a bombing with one of these. Trash. Get away. We're trained for it. You aim about a hand's breadth in front of them to allow for the speed of the aircraft. Don't bombers fly too high? Don't you believe it. Most bombers fly about 5,000 feet, and 5,000 feet's a mile, right? This thing can kill it a mile. Oh, shut up, Gordon, talking like that. Ma'am, can, can German machine guns fire that far? Oh, aye, far further. <clears throat> Their smizers can go right through the trunk of a tree like that. Look, how many times do I have to tell you? Will you cut them before you put them in your mouth? Sorry, ma'am. Surely me. Yeah, you are, Hedy. I'm glad we got that raid over early. I could do with a proper night's rest in my own bed. No, I wouldn't count your chickens, but there's still a yellow load on. The old clear went, we heard it. That was the end of Red Road. Them jellies are still a ruin somewhere. Best get my uniform on. It's a you'll be spoiled. Oh, I'll get ready first. You're quiet, Chas. Be in more trouble with the law. What? Oh, no. That's no sneak raid. That's a real thing. You don't act shelter. Quick. Oh, those lovely sausages. Good for God's sake. The insurance policies. Have I made the insurance policies? If you don't let the insurance, you don't get a move on. Look, 
Did you close the door, love? I'm afraid somebody's gonna nip in and pinch those insurance policies, man. It's all we've got. Oh, help, where's Mrs. Spalding and her, Colin? Them beggars has come back again. We're all afraid us. It's a trouble, son. We haven't got enough. Come on, lads, get the beggars! Is she dead? No, she's got a nickel through her ankles. No, I've had a hop on the way. I was on the outside, lad. And they blew the lobby door, Rito. And there I was for all to see. And they've done the wreck cinema and all. Yeah, you got a spot of brandy, pet. The brandy, Jack, we've left it in the house. Anybody could take it. I'll pull the chin, Ma. Flushed, I'll read. Well, you'll get the Victoria Cross for that. Oh, you be quiet, Charles. Haven't you got any feelings? There's a lot of planes up. We're in for a button. God help us all. Nana and Granda are safe. I'll go down and see as soon as it's late. Be quiet, you'll wake the Ben. Remember this lot being built? Will they ever build it again? God knows, son. There's your Uncle Jory. Hey, what fit the deal of Jory? I thought I'd seen it all in the trenches in the last lot. But I've seen out late this morning. Many did? I had 27 so far, three out alive. Your family already, Jory? Aye, but they've had it bad down there. Taking a the young'un down, are you? Ah, well, I've heard no bad. Way, best be for your son. Ah. Dad, what do you think? Come on. I tell you to shut your eyes, so you shut them quick. No messing. All right? There now, I knew you'd come, Henny, and the bane. Do you see what that hilt and the Germans have done now? If I could get hold of the stone so I'd strangle them with your own hands. But come in, don't stand on what's left of the doorstep. Thank goodness it was family at the door. Are you all right, Dad? That held you? You should have been strangled at both. He's really done for your granddad, look. He was going to brew a pot of tea when it happened. It blew him all the way down the yard and tore the back of his top coat. The devils couldn't kill him in Caporetto in 1918, but they've nigh done for him this time. By, if he'd been 20 years younger, he he'd have seen them off. What's that held you more than a house painter when all's said and done? I had a funny feel in that cupboard last night, you know. I dreamt he came back for his badge. The Austrian soldier your grander killed with his bayonet in Caporetto. He took his badge as a souvenir and he's lived in mortal fear of him ever since. Oh, help! That always reminds him of the machine guns. He's badly. He hasn't done that in ten years. What we're going to do, son? You'll come home with us, Mother. Battle cool, topped up with water, spare barrel in reserve, half worn out, sir. The breach is jammed. Recock, discharge, recock, discharge, recock, discharge, recock. Mix one of his powders. Steady, discharge, recock, discharge, recock, discharge, recock.